This is the operational description for a magneto ignition on a Briggs & Stratton engine. The one we're using is a 5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engine. Alright, let's just identify a few parts here. This round piece here, you only see half of it, but that is the flywheel. And attached to the flywheel at this point right in here is the flywheel magnet. That flywheel magnet is a permanent magnet. It's attached to the flywheel in a specific spot. So then that when this magnet goes past and is spinning and it goes past the magneto coil or the armature, um, that's exact time when the spark needs to happen in the cylinder. Excellent. I also have a few things right here. These, these are called the points right there. We also have our armature right here, this yellow part. That armature contains primary windings. There's about a hundred of those around the inside and secondary windings. They go around the outside of the primary windings. They go on the outside. Up here we have uh, the spark plug and that allows, there's a little spark plug gap right there and that's where it's going to jump across inside the cylinder at exactly the right time. Excellent. So the operation is this. As the flywheel magnet on the flywheel approaches the magneto coil, the magnetic field that is around the flywheel cuts through the primary windings. As the magnetic field cuts through the primary windings, current is induced into the primary windings and it flows through the primary circuit just like this. Flowing through the primary circuit. It's a complete circuit. These points are closed so then current flows momentarily. When the current is flowing through the primary circuit, a magnetic field is created around the primary circuit. So now you have two magnetic fields. That magnetic field that's around the primary circuit also goes around the secondary windings and the secondary circuit. At exactly the right time, the points right here open. When the points open, current cannot flow through the primary windings anymore because the current cannot flow through the primary windings, there is a spike in voltage and the current, the magnetic field that is around the primary windings tries to collapse into the secondary windings and into the secondary circuit, but it can't enter the secondary circuit. Current cannot be induced because there is a gap in the spark plug right here. So what happens is the magnetic field tries to collapse and collapse and collapse and voltage builds up at this point on the spark plug and it builds up and builds up and builds up until there's enough voltage or enough pressure pushing that it will jump across the spark plug gap. Then you have flow and it goes to the ground and it flows right through the secondary circuit momentarily. That spark happens at exactly the right time because of the flywheel key that's attaching the crankshaft to the flywheel.